Lamentations chapter 5 verse 1. Remember, O oh Lord, what has come upon us. All right, so we need to remember. In 1 Kings 8, it talks about that we need to bethink ourselves. These are the first steps of repentance, all right? Because I could sit here all day and give you just your history, but we got to go through the whole steps of, of repentance, all right? So it says, remember, O oh Lord, what's come upon us. So remember why we're in the state that we're in, okay? We got to remember that we're not uh, Panamanians, Guatemalans, okay? Any of those things, all right? We're the tribes that, that are not these, all right? You got to remember your heritage first, all right? So it says, remember, O oh Lord, what's come upon us, all right? Consider and behold our reproach. Just consider and behold our reproach. The sins that we did against you, God. Go ahead. For our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. What are the Lord's not strangers to us? Did we not know their tongue? They came from a place far away. We didn't know them. We didn't know Columbus, Ponce de Leon, or Hernán Cortés. We didn't know any of them as they came over here. All right? They came over here, and we knew nothing about them. Strangers, our inheritance. This side of the world that we had over here, right? Go ahead. Our houses to aliens. Wait, what, what word did God use to describe the other nations, the conquistadors that came here? Aliens. What do they call our people today? Illegal aliens. Illegal aliens. But historically, who was here first? They talk about get a passport, go back to where you came from. How about you go back to where you came from? Go That's back to your country. Go back to your lands that you stole. Bring it out. You, it's hundreds of thousands of spilled blood of our brothers and sisters, all right? You take the Native Americans and the so-called Hispanics, you put them all together, it's over 750 million souls That's that were destroyed. Right. And they want to talk about some so-called Holocaust that happened over there with six million that died, all right? And even that number is questionable. And even that number is questionable. They said, even if you took and you filled the gas chambers to capacity and you did it for the whole time the war was going on, there's no way. They said it would be a few hundred thousand or something. There's no way that you can kill six million souls that way. All right? So, and they want to talk about, oh, forget about slavery. Why are you still hanging on that? But we should remember 9-11. We should never forget the Holocaust. Because why? It's a dark, disgusting part of their history that the white man that was here couldn't even bring it. It's not even the spirit to admit if he was right or wrong. He didn't want to give a yes or a no because he's condemned of himself, all right? Because really his answer wanted to be no, he's not wrong, all right? He knows the story, he knows what was up. That's why he got so caught up about it, all right? Read. We are orphans and fatherless. We were orphans and fatherless, why? because they took us from our parents into captivity, into slavery. We were fatherless because they killed the chief and elders of us. They worked us to the bone. We got accounts right here. Give me that sign right there, right? Give me that Northern Kingdom sign, okay? These are the pictures, all right? These are artist renderings, all right, from the journals of different friars and missionaries that came with the conquistadors. We were in chains, okay? Forcing us to worship that fake image, okay? Where's, where's Caesar? You can look in the mirror and I tell you, I do more conquistador of blood. To worship, to worship that, to bow down to that and their interpretation of the Bible and those beliefs, okay? That's why we were found the orphans and fathers. Yeah, hold that. Right? Right. All right? There's another scripture that you okay? Go ahead. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This was a prophecy that would happen to the Israelites. Moses prophesied to the Israelites thousands of years ago that if you didn't keep the commandments of God, this is what would happen to you. He said, thy sons and thy daughters would be given unto another people. We just read the same thing in Lamentations. We were orphans and fathers, all right? And thine eyes shall And thine eyes shall, shall, fail. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. He said, our eyes will look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Read, read verse 41. Go ahead. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For Why? they shall go into captivity. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. For they shall go Isaac. into captivity. Did that not happen to our people? Do you not see that on these signs? That is not it's history. That is history. It's history. All right? It's history. You're Give me Daniel 9 and 7. Give me Daniel 9 Look and 7. Look in the mirror. Give him Daniel. Give him Daniel. Daniel 9 and 7. Daniel chapter 9, verse 7. Let me ask you a question. Where's oh, your, Lord. Where's your father's nationality? Where's your father's nationality? I'm half Yemen, half Puerto Rican. Okay, so what's your father? 
He's from Yemen? All right, so of course you're going to understand this. My, my dad you. looks a lot like Osama bin Laden. You, you fall under the other things. Probably a lot like the other everyone. things. Give me a, uh, give me two. Okay, so can you show me where in the Bible says that Jesus died for everyone? Really? They said he died for everyone? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm glad you brought that out. Let's go into John 3, 16. Let's go John 3, 16. Let's go into John 3, 16. I'm going to read John 3.16, all right? Go ahead. Give me John 3.16. John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world. John, John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So that's it. We should close the Bible and pack it up stop preaching our doctrine, right? It's part of verse 14. I'm going to bring it to you in John, chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. All right, so as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Are you familiar with the story of Moses and the serpent in the wilderness? Are, are you familiar with that? Are you familiar with that? Are you familiar with that? Okay, read even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. All right. Now hold that. Give me numbers 21. All right. So we're going over John 3.16 because that's the famous scripture that everybody wants to pull to say God is for everybody. But they don't even read it into perspective. They want to isolate one scripture. All right. So now we're going to give you the history. Because everybody loves to say that the Old Testament is done away with. That that's the old law. Go ahead, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. I gotta, I gotta say something. There's this Yemenite over here is, is just running his mouth and you're just starting to annoy people. You're spitting garbage. Christ, the black Messiah, is not born. Like no Osama bin Laden. That's right. That's what, listen, listen. Shut your mouth and listen. listen. The so called Negro. The so called Negro. Four, who make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, all the tribes were dark-skinned people. That's right. Before the Roman in 70 AD of the, under Titus and Vespasian, before they conquered Jerusalem, we were in Jerusalem before we fled to Africa, into Egypt, and migrated to the west coast of Africa. You're, you keep saying that Christ, listen before you run your mouth, listen, get some understanding. You said that if Christ was here today, he would look more like Osama bin Laden. Let's see what the scripture says. Maybe Jeremiah back. chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning. So Judah mourning. The so-called African Americans, the tribe of Judah, because that's where Christ comes from. The tribe of Judah. If Christ was here standing today, he would be considered a so-called Negro or African American. Read. And the gates thereof language. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. Stop. They are what? They are black. Unto the ground. The Hebrew word that's supposed to be there is kadar, which means dark skinned. Shh, listen, you're gonna run your mouth again and you don't know you don't know anything about the Bible. Kadar means dark skin. Judah morning, the gates there of language, meaning the officers are in language, meaning there are no officers over the tribe of Judah. To guide the tribe of Judah. Read what you got. They are blood unto the ground. Yes. And the cry of Jerusalem is going up. Uh, read what you got, Judah morning. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Uh, Judah morning, uh, and the gates thereof language. Uh, they are black unto the ground. So Christ, why when we no, say, why Levin, when Levin, we Levin, open, Levin, no, 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 you're trying to jump topic. Let's deal, Levin, I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to deal with that. Let's go from one topic to the next. You're not going to say something. I'm going to address it and try to cut right? you off. That's, That's why the I'm going to work on it. That's the teacher. Jeremiah 14 said, Judah morning. The raise your hand. They are like black unto the ground. Raise your hand like you're like in the classroom. Like the word, the, ground. the word Kadar in the Hebrew is the there. word that belongs Keep there. Keep now let's see what King Solomon said about himself. Song of Solomon. Get me Song of Solomon. If you don't believe, walk down the block. You don't believe in the Bible, so walk down the block. No, I want to say it. I want to Song of Solomon. Leviticus 2013. King Solomon was Christ's great, great, great grandfather. From the tribe of Judah. What did King Solomon say about himself? Did he say, oh, I look like Osama bin Laden? Was King Solomon from the tribe of Ishmael? From the nation of Ishmael? No. King Solomon was from the tribe of Judah, from the nation of Israel. That's right. That's right. Song of Solomon 1, verse 1. 
the Songs of Songs, which is Solomon. Song of Songs, which is Solomon. So these songs belong to King Solomon. Here it is. First verse. I am blessed. I am what? I am blessed. I am what? I am blessed. Read on. But come. The word come means answer. Where do you get Osama bin Laden out of there? Read on. You want to read your But come, O oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. But come. Like what? Oh, but uh, but come. O oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Read on. As the tents of Kedar. As the tents of Kedar. I challenge everybody in the order to look up that word. Kedar in the Hebrew means dark skin. Fairy dark tale. skin, fairy dark tale. skin. The Bible is a We've fairy been worshiping your white Jesus for over 300 years. The Bible is when a we fairy open tale. up the Bible and reread that Christ was a so-called black man, not as a problem. Now there's a problem all of a sudden. When we read that the Bible, the prophets were black. The disciples were black. Christ is black. That's right. That's right. Now there's a problem all of a sudden from the so-called white man. From the so-called Arab man is Yemenite over here. Now there's a problem. There were 5,000 witnesses you know why? otherwise. You know why? Because you love lies. Because if you, you want, want us to you continue want to in lies, the Bible is you want us to continue in lies. Leviticus is right? saying otherwise. Turn to Leviticus 20, 20, 13. Please. Yeah. You want to put it? You want to put it? Yeah. Yeah. Same book you have in there. Yes, you do. Does does God have to have a pillar? Excuse me. Back up. Back away from my camera. If you got a question, ask the teacher. I told you to ask the teacher to have a pillar. Don't come to violate my space. I will knock you on your ass. Now, there is a perfect example right there. This man right here. Amen. He lost his temper. He lost his temper. As he lived with the white peace. Who studied peace? He just lost his temper. He said he was going to knock him out. He said he was going to knock him out. Wait, he said a story. That is a perfect example of that peace. And what do you got on here? What did God say about homosexuality? It proves the Bible is bullshit. Uh, he just said, I'm going to knock you out if you don't get next That's to my right. camera. That's you right. You shouldn't speak like that. Jesus is you want worry, brotherhood? Now he's turning the camera you know, away from me. God, yeah, you want brotherhood? You want peace? Not with you? Not with you? Nope. Yes. Exactly. Is that what Leviticus 20? Is that what Jesus would say? Yes. I will knock you out if you don't get away from me. Yes. Who was that? Right? He just told us himself. He just said it. He just told us. He just told everybody that he made him a Christian. He just did that. The laws that. was kept off the two blacks, two Hispanics, and Native Indians. Indian. He made up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. The law of adultery, you know the law of homosexuality. Oh, God no, no, what's your nationality? God says he doesn't want to deal with that. Okay. Your father, what is it? Leviticus 2013, that's what he's about. This is not for you. That's it, plain and simple. You believe in the word? Sorry. Obviously, we teach them. Excuse me. Excuse me. Psalm chapter one forty-seven, verse nineteen. Because this war, even if you don't like what we teach teaching, keep it moving. You're from Yemen. What is wrong with Charlie? We're going to try to speak. I'm either going to ignore the living daylights to you, or you're going to shut your mouth. In Yemen, the majority of the religion in Yemen is Muslim. Arabs are in Yemen. Ask the teacher. They follow the Quran. The Quran which the Ask the teacher. To recite. To recite. The, what are they reciting? The Holy Bible, right? Exactly. In Yemen, can two men live with each other and not get put to death? Exactly. Where did they get that from? From us. But Christ came and died, so we have a chance of salvation. If a man sleeps with another man, I can't put him to death. He has a chance to repent. To repent. Where does Jesus when Christ say that? comes Where back, does Jesus listen, say that? listen. When Christ comes back, there's not going to be any homosexuality. I'm not even homosexual. There's not going to be any homosexuality. Where does Jesus say that? You should kill all. Psalms, chapter one forty-seven, verse nineteen. Okay. He saw his word unto Jacob, his statue. I'm going to get this guy like this. Unto Israel. Okay. He has not held so Okay. Any nation. So let him talk. God says. Okay. He has. You deal with me. I'm the teacher. Israel, God says Israel, he Israel. has not dealt so with any Israel, other nation. The laws you don't was not anything. given Watch to this. any I'm other pressure, nation pressure. but the nation of Israel. Okay, nation Israel. Okay, Israel. Okay. 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 Okay.
Yep, are we brothers? Esau and Jacob at one point, they were brothers. Okay. I come from you? Jacob. Wow. That's over, yo, close your mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna trust in this brother. I'm, I'm okay. Jesus. That's over 18 nations in the Bible. What nation do you come from? What nation? You don't believe in nationality? So you have no nationality? Okay, so I believe in the brotherhood. I believe we have responsibility. The only brothers that we have are these people on the sun. The 12 tribes of Israel. The Negroes, Hispanics. And the right. Indians. Let me look That's right. right. Go that. Go in now. Your father's Yemen. Take on the nationality of your father. So my skin is that I'm my brother. It's not about skin color. Look at this. Look at this guy. Okay. He's my brother. Yeah. Why? Because he's of the nation of Israel. That's right. God right. deals with nationality, that's skin color. So, so, so God deals with nationality, so, so I, I was born in the Bronx. Jayla was from the Bronx. So, so God deals with nationality. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You hear that? God says you shall not hate your brother in your heart. Okay. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So you're supposed to correct your neighbor, your brother. So your I brother, brother. If your brother right is in now. sin, so you're your supposed brother. to correct them. We're correcting you right now. The Bible is going to answer, not me. I'm not going to give you what I feel. No, I'm, that's no. Fine. That's fine. I'm going to give you what God says. Okay. God says you're supposed to rebuke your neighbor. So your neighbor is from the nation of Israel. Yeah, if I see this brother going off and if I just commit sin, I'm going to brother, that's wrong with you about sin. You're not supposed to commit it. So does this book say, really? Okay, so does that book say, No, so in any words, rebuke thy neighbor, and not suffer sin upon him. And not suffer sin upon your neighbor. Okay. No, so not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Read it again for this guy. No, so not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children Oh, thy people. The children of thy people are the 12 tribes of Israel. Can you find yourself up here? If you find yourself up here from your father's lineage, you are my brother. Oh, really? And I will apologize. Wow, find yourself crazy. up here. I'm not sure. Most of my family was killed in World War II. You that can't find yourself sense. up here. So, if your family was killed from World War II, more than likely you're an Edomite from the nation of Esau. So he's not right. So you're right. not my brother. Wow! My family, my family, my family, okay, okay, okay. My family, the whole Caucasian race has, descend from one man I'm from the Caucasian. nation of Esau. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. But you're probably true. I don't like you. You're probably a little tipsy. What? You're speaking out of your mind. Just like this guy. He's drunk, twisted right now. I can tell by your eyes you're drunk. It doesn't matter. Your whole theology is fraud. This is a joke to me. Joke. You're a joke to God. Yeah, seriously? I'm a joke to God because well, I'm part of your tribe? I'm, I'm, I'm not you're part of your tribe? So you're not, if you're not part of the 12 tribes, you're not part of the 12 tribes. I don't know. I don't know. How do I it doesn't know? mean you're a cult. The scripture, scripture says I mean, I mean, to live peaceably amongst all nations. I mean, I mean, so I'm not going to put my hands on you. I'm not going to try to hurt you because you're a human being. You're a human being just like I. The Bible, Christ said to live peaceable amongst all nations. Is he your brother? But is the covenant Is the covenant for you? No. Wow! Do you hear that? You know. Do you hear that? It's salvation okay. for you know. Oh, seriously, salvation you, you is only for the nation of Israel. That's, That's right. right. That's salvation the truth. That's is the only the truth. for the so-called Negroes, really? Hispanics, and really? Native. I don't believe that. That's right. Really? You believe that? Oh my God! I'm 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 I, I, I hope I'm there. I wish you well too. I I wish you well. You know why? That, that's how I feel. I wish you long life. I wish that you stay alive until so you can see the second coming of Christ. I hope that we fix the problems in the world. No, I want you to see the second coming of Christ. When's Christ coming? In the meantime, we don't know. I wish you have a long life. You know why? Because it's prophesied in the Bible that all the nations that came up against the children of Israel, that had the children of Israel in chains. You're going in chains. That's, That's right. 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 That's what it says so on the Bible. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey, 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 Jesus so I made that up. That's what you're saying. No, no, no. I said I was hearing. Bro, exactly. you got to fly. From, you're hearing hatred from me. Yeah. Let's see if Christ said that. What does Christ say? Revelation 13. Okay. Okay. Revelation. And then get me Isaiah 14. Excuse me, sir, because Proverbs is from the Old Testament. You read it from the Old Testament. Revelation is from the Old Testament. New Testament. He says the Psalms. 
Psalms is Old Testament. But I'm in Revelation. Okay, but you were in Psalms before. What relevance does it have? No, 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 no,
That doesn't, that's not what Christ looked like. Even though the Bible describes him your as a black man with red hair. Your people have not accepted the, 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 the Holy One of Israel because he despised this word. You despise the word of God. That's what you despise. Read. Look in the mirror. In oppression. You trust in your oppressors. You trust in oppression. You trust in these morons and their lies that they put upon our people. Keep the door and perverse the door and stay there. And you stay there on in your perverseness and sin. Keep the door. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach. That's why all this sin is going to be like a wall ready to Oh, you think you're working on and that you're going to be okay living in your sleep? Yes. Therefore, you dwell out in a high wall who's breaking down a sudden. And when you least suspect it, you're going to get hit by a bus or shot in the face or shot in the back or stabbed with a knife because you're living in your wickedness. Read? Do you believe in your father? I'm happy. Simple question. Do you believe in your father? Yes? Yes. Then you're lost, buddy. So what's. So what's wrong with the apocrypha? How am I know? Don't say something and run with the woman. That's what most men do. You open your mouth, you make a statement, and you run you behind your are lost. You are Isaiah lost. Isaiah 14, no. According to the Bible, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Indians, we make up the 12 tribes of the nation. There is no religion in the Bible. I'm half Puerto Rican. You can't find religion in the Bible. When God gave his children all the statutes of men. We were brought over here, we were destroyed in slavery, and our slave masters pushed the religion of Christ. They made us, huh? The guy behind you we brought the so called Negroes over here to slave ships. The guy behind him, too. Okay, so there's your answer. Who sold them on auction? Well, actually, they were sold by the people after. Oh, but we're not Africans. It's not our people. They were bought by We're not our people. Africans are not our people. You have you know, more African in you. They're dark, they're dark skin like the Negroes. Because when we came off, when we came off the boat, why they didn't call us Africans? Why did they call us Negroes? Why every couple of years they change our nationality? Why the Africans never came here and say, hey, yeah, brothers, come back to the land? Why did Nelson Mandela, when he came to the UN, and said, I didn't come here for the Negroes, I came here for my people, the so-called blacks, that your forefathers sold and killed and slaved. We make up the nation of Israel. We like the U.S., right? I prefer to live here than in Let's read what an elite scholar of your race said about the Negroes. Hell! The youngest son of Noah, born probably 96 years before the flood. Who was Ham? Um, Ham? You, you ever read about Ham? Um, yeah, in the Old Testament. All right, who was Noah? Is that the Old Testament where people live for three days? And one of eight persons to live through the flood. This is pre. This is pre Abraham. We're talking. Flood. Yes, sir. Okay. No way. Read. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So Same Old Testament with Bush and Pirates. He became the progenitor of the dark races. So when you close the book, you're like, damn. So you're from Ham. We know that Ham is a forefather. Hold on. The Same Old Testament. We know that, we know that Ham stone is the forefather of the Africans. So when you close the book, you're like, he's African, he's African, and he's all the dark skinned people are Africans. But well, let's read on. Read. Not the okay. Negroes! Not this. the who? The Negroes! Not the who? The Negroes! Not the Negroes. This is from the Zion Complex Bible Dictionary. A, a white scholar put this book together. And what he knows is that the Negroes in America are not Africans. So if we're not Africans, who are we? Who are the fathers oh, of the African? religion does! Really? Just fucking say that. It's it's not we're not brothers. But the Egyptians! But the who? Egyptians! So Ham is the father of the Egyptians. Hey, hey. Ethiopians! The Ethiopians, the Kushites. Read. Libyans! The Libyans, like Libya, Muammar Gaddafi, read on. And Canaanites! And the Canaanites, the South Africans, Puerto, the, the Sudanese, Puerto the Watusis, the Shaka Zulu, the Zulu tribe. This is the Zondavan tribe. Can I get a fucking book of that? Can I get a book of that? This is, it's not a passage. He's giving you the definition of Ham. Of Ham. We fled into Africa fleeing the persecution, Titus and Vespasian, the Roman 
German persecution in 70 AD, we fled I'm into North Africa huh? and wandered up in West Africa, where the Africans sold the children of Israel to the so-called Arabs and the so-called white men. And that's found in the Bible. You damn up. Give this brother a round of applause. All praises. Very good. He said it himself. He's been standing here for over the hour speaking garbage, and you finally said something good. Congratulations. He said the white man is the devil, meaning the white man is a liar, the deceiver. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. I'm happy. I'm happy. First wood for the Lord. There's no such thing as happy. Yeah, that's the white yes. My dad is from Yemen, yes. my that's mother is from Puerto Rico. I'm half and half. What does the word I was born What does the, the word Bronx. devil mean? Because you seem to get offended by that word. No, I'm not offended. I'm actually not even Christian. What is what is what, what is what is the word no, we know no, you're not I'm just, Christian. I'm just interested. What does the word devil mean? You tell me, you educate me. So are you guys Christians? We're Israelites. And the Christians were first, the Christians were the Jews were called Christians in Antioch. So the original Christians are Israelites. The word devil means to deceive. Your race, your race as a majority, as a nation of people, are responsible for all the atrocities on this earth. You have deceived, you have deceived the nations. God called, that's what God refers to you as that great serpent, that old serpent. But you know what's funny with your people? You smile, you laugh, you take this Bible really as a joke. You take it as a joke. But when Christ comes, it's going to be off at your head. I hope you understand that. I really hope you, because you have to pay for what your forefathers did. That's right. Isaiah 14 and 21. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. You hear that? For the Prepare. Wait, wait. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter for his children. Uh -huh. For the iniquity of their father. Because you might say, well, what the hell? I'm only 20. I didn't enslave anybody. I didn't do nothing, but guess what? Your forefathers did. My forefathers you are did walking not. on They're the blood. You are They're walking on me. the blood of our ancestors. They're not fucking me, Your though. forefathers enslaved our forefathers. So this is what God says. This is righteous judgment. No, no. That's not fucking me. Her her a slaughter judgment for me his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Read it again. I'm speaking out of the word of the Bible. God's word, God's word doesn't go out void. The reason you feel like you're cutting in your spirit, you're hurt because it's true. You know that history bears out the Bible. Let me ask you something. Because this is something that you, you white men, you only have sympathy for your people. You white people, you only have sympathy for what happens to atrocities done to your people. You see yourself as superior and the my other nations people, as my inferior. Are Jewish. Let me, you're not, you are Jewish. You yeah. wish you were a Jew. You ain't, you're looking at the Jews in front of you. That's right. That's right. You're looking at the Jews in front of you. Yeah, I'm serious. Do you yeah, see me smiling? You are, so why are you fucking Do you see me smiling? I'm fucking doing wrong. Do you see me smiling? But you can't see the word Jeremiah brothers. was a black man. He was a righteous man. Right, there right is no man. such thing as What happened to Jeremiah? There is no thing. There's only what fucking happened to Jeremiah? And we are Jesus. fucking human right, beings. He was a prophet of What God. happened to Jeremiah? He was probably Jeremiah when I... Because you guys get mad when we say that you're going into captivity. Jesus, God, God, not even he was preaching about that. Definitely. Jeremiah was a righteous man. Did he not go into slavery? We came over here to the land of America as a nation of people. Not as a single people in the God judges a nation. Boom! You did this? Boom! Judgment. Jeremiah went into captivity in Babylon. Ezekiel was a righteous man. Did he not go into captivity in Babylon? He's saying that they're fucking Israelites. They're fucking part of the 13th tribe. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. We got three white men in the clan. To pay slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Not everybody rejected Jesus Christ. Because let me ask you something. You say the Jews rejected Jesus Christ. Was Paul a Jew? Was Peter? Wait, wait. I realize that. I'm answering your questions. You want to cut me off? That's how you white people do. I'm just asking. Was Peter a Jew? Was Peter a Jew? Was Nicodemus a Jew? Was James a Jew? 
were the, were the 12 disciples Jews? He says everybody rejected Jesus Christ. No, there were certain sects of the Pharisees and Sadducees that rejected Jesus Christ. Matthew 15. So who is Jesus? Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. He is the Messiah. Paid for the sin of the world of the Israelites. Not the whole world. When you look up the definition, when you look up the definition of world, it means a society of people. Like you have the worldwide of sports. The worldwide of the world of you, When you talk about the world of sports, can you include animals? But I ask you something about the world. Don't try to evade. Can you, if I speak to you about worldwide sports, NFL, can you include animals in there? The animal kingdom? You can't give me a yes or no answer. You guys been doing this ever since you conquered America, man. That's why we call you the devil, the Satan, the deceiver. Give me a straight answer. Answer the question. Cosmos, yes. No, we didn't. Let's get what the world is talking about. One man is an Arab, he doesn't believe in the Bible, saying it's garbage, but he's still here. Obviously, you believe in something, you keep running in your mouth. Uh, no, I don't want you to keep polluting. Let's Chapter 3, verse 16. I'm not an Arab. For God, the psychic, the, the, the word, love is you. That he gave his only begotten son. Oh. That whoso, whosoever we believe it in him uh -huh. should not, not perish. Uh -huh. But have everlasting life. All oh, praise man, Jesus. A black man. Oh, praise Jesus. A white man. We close oh, the Bible. Man, close the Bible and listen to Pastor bro. Dick. Just Pastor bro. Dick says you. Jesus no, loved the world. Anything. Salvation for the whole no, world. Words. Let's go up to verse 14. No, salvation for anybody who Verse 14. Jesus, and as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Stop. Do you know any history about Moses with the children of Israel? I know all that history. What history? All of it. Who was in the wilderness with Moses? Who did Moses lift up the serpent to? The people of Israel. The people of Israel. The people of Israel. Very good. Was the whole world included? Because John 3, 14 says... But Jesus came for the whole world. Wait, that's what you think. I know. He's coming for you, but he ain't coming to save you. He's coming to put you in chains. He's coming to put you in chains. I am saved. You're very good, I told you. If he don't agree with us, he could be our spokesman. You're very right, another way. I gotta put the barrel on this. That whosoever uh -huh. believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish. Now, whosoever, that's for the pronoun, right? When you read that word to close the book, whosoever's talking about everybody. It's talking about the white man right here with the elephant. Leave Judah the shirt. up with you if he's alright. It's all talking right. about this brother right here with the glasses. It's talking about the Asian man, the Arab man, the African man. Really. Let's see whosoever's talking about. Acts 2 21. Acts chapter 2. I know this is a spectacle up here. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says you shall be made a spectacle, a spectacle upon amongst the nations. God said you shall be a fool for Christ's sake. We know this is foolish, but God also said by the foolish of preaching, these people shall be saved. That's right. So-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives who hear this word who repent. Because we are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. Acts 2.21. Acts 2.21. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. that whosoever uh -huh. shall call on the name of the Lord uh -huh. shall be saved. So whosoever is talking about everybody. Read on. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Israel. Israel, you Mexicans. Aztecs, Mayans, Incas, you Negros, you make up the nation of Israel. That's me. You are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's right. That's me. That's me. Ye men of Israel, what? Hear these words. Go back to John 3 16, and I'll pass it on to all the society. That's exactly, that's exactly what happened. John chapter 3, that's, that's verse 16. That's bullshit right there. What those men are doing to those men is bullshit. Because For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever. So the only begotten son is Jesus the Christ. Christ is our Lord and Savior. Christ is the Savior of the nation of Israel. Okay? Read. Whosoever, whosoever amongst the nation of Israel, read. Believeth in him should not perish. So if you repent in these last days, wake up. Come out of your sins. Christ said that salvation is for you. Christ said that salvation is unto you, the nation of Israel. Not all people. 
You want to mingle up and cleave to these heathens, okay? And you're a damn Arab. Stop running your mouth for my Puerto Rican, for my he's a conquistador. He's from the tribe of Ephraim. Numbers in one and eighteen. I was born in Bronx. We're gonna shut this demon up, and then Officer Seth, we're gonna. I was born in Bronx. It's according to the seed of the father. That's Out of right. your own my, mouth, my you said your father's a Yemen, so he's an Arab. That's right. Yeah, man. My dad's a Muslim. That's why I'm a fan of the Hebrews. Numbers, chapter one, book of John. sucks, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, mm -hmm. and they declare their pedigree. Pedigrees, nationality, laws, custom, everything. Read. After their families, uh -huh. by the house of their father. No, their mother. Their father. So the seed comes from the father. Nationality comes from the father. Christ's lineage came from who? Generations from Christ from David, Christ the tribe of Judah. Imaginary women don't get Matthew pregnant. Matthew 1 and 1. Because God said, oh, you're pregnant. No. Matthew 1 verse pregnant. 1. We know that's a Matthew. lie. Immaculate conception is a lie. Christ born on December 25th, that's a lie. That's not in the Bible. We know that. Matthew 1 verse 1. Matthew 1 verse 1. Christ, 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 the book Christ. of generation of Jesus Christ. The book of what? Generation of Jesus Christ. What is the root word or the prefix of generation? What does it mean? Genes, genetics, DNA. So Christ did not come from God. God didn't plant his seed inside of Mary. Christ came from a man, from David, out of the loins of David. But your slave master, the so-called white man, told you that no, immaculate deception. Immaculate conception. Read Matthew 1 verse 1 again. The book of generation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. the son of David. The who? The son of David. The son of David. The son of David. The son of David who came out of the loins. David probably looked a lot of David. David. It didn't say Mary. It said David. It didn't say Mary. So your, your nationality comes from your father. Therefore, you are an Ishmaelite. You are a Yemenite Ishmaelite. I'm a terrorist. Exactly. Oh, very well. I told all you. All praises. All praises. All praises. Give me on Psalms 147. Because what you're going to learn today is that this Bible is for Israel, and it was only given to Israel. What your mother should have learned was this right here, this Bible right here. The Bible that you should have never been produced. Your mother should have never laid with an Arab man. All right? You're a confused Arab man. You think you're half Puerto Rican and half Arab. No, you're an Arab man because you're the seed of your father. Three. It doesn't matter where you're born. It's the seed of your father. If you were born on an airplane, would you be an airplane night? Yes. No, you wouldn't. Okay? It goes according to the seed of your father. Three. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. God chose his word unto Jacob. The children of Israel. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So God gave this Bible to the children of Israel. He did not give it to the Arab man. He did not give it to a Arab man born of an Israelite woman. Okay? Most High told the children of Israel, do not mix with the other nation. And my mother is Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7. Your mother is an Israelite if she's of the tribe of Ephraim. But you're an Arab man according to the Bible. Deuteronomy. This Bible is not for you. You're a confused person read chapter 7 verse 3 neither shall thou make marriages with them you israelites you israelites you so-called blacks hispanics and native indians this word is for you this is what god tells you to do read thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son nor his daughter your mother's father your grandfather from your mother's side should have never Where given your it? mother Where to an Arab man. Jesus. Your father should have taught your mother this law right here. You would have never been produced, and we would have never had this issue with you right now. Read. Wait, what's the issue? Nor okay. his daughter. The issue is that the Bible is not for him. Read. Nor his daughter. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you what the issue is. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to answer. 
Sorry, He's gonna answer. Sorry. Let me ask you. Mark said, what's the word? I'm not walking between said that Christ. I appreciate it. Yeah, before we came out, I was trying to read said, some of the said statutes. That, yeah, I'm not going to go to Israel. We're trying. We're working on the Black Council right now. Our child is a teacher that the so called Negroes, listen up. Yeah, the Negroes and Hispanics and Native Indians will make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay. Right. Now, if you were able to bring you come um, out here like to teach our people the Lord, so they can stop pulling up these priests. Okay. So let's stop so walking around as homosexuals. Okay. Raping um, others. Like, so we can wake up and, and teach God. Okay. That may sound funny to you, but that's the reason we went into slavery. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. Right or wrong? I'm going to continue. It's a new God's law. So you so called blacks and Hispanics, you want to listen. This Bible is not for the white man. This Bible is not for the Arab man. This Bible is not for the Asian man. Okay? God told us to separate ourselves from the other nations so that we do not produce confused children like this man by here. Read Deuteronomy chapter 7. God is a racist. He is for his people. Okay? Oh, wow. They had a microphone. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages yeah, 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 with yeah, we don't need anything. God commanded yeah, us yeah, was, not to make marriages with the other nations. Yeah, yeah, that's, so an Israelite yeah, woman yeah, yeah. was not supposed uh, to lay down with an Arab man. Sort of, uh, an Israelite woman is not supposed to lay down like with a white man. Numbers, so an Israelite if, woman if, if is not supposed to lay down with an Arab man. Neither thy, thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. You're not supposed to give your daughters unto the Arab son. You're not supposed to give your daughters unto the white son. You're supposed to separate from the other nations. Nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. Neither you Israelite men are not supposed to be laying with these other nations. We're not supposed to be seeing. So yeah, yeah. Black, yeah, we're all about so self defense. Hispanics. We're just going to do the Lord's work. <laughs> oh, thank you, officer. So called white women, so called Arab women, so called Chinese women. Read. <laughs> but, but, verse 4. You need to they will yes. turn away yeah, this, the sun following me. I don't sleep with those. Yeah, just make this your spot. That they may yeah. serve other gods. This is why God doesn't want us to mix with the other nations. Yeah, you got people that sit. Y'all could be up here so they can't really complain about anything. So see how we are here. And this is actually kind of good because you elevated him. Yeah, so you get the preeminence. Yeah, yeah. He was raised. But one of the main things you said, it just depends on the amount of people. It's 20 of us, so we got to fall back. But if it's just six of us. Well, if it's six, it's probably even better that you're up here. I think it works out better. Yeah, you're, 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 you're higher up, people just I'm mentally, they got like, you know, they see you elevated like that, so We're all human they might be less inclined to try something. To the Bible. You're an Israelite, you're not an Israelite. This Bible is not for you. Yo, this guy won't you don't like what we're saying, he's a lot of time. Yo, we have three, like, 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 the whore. Give me Le Leviticus 19, 29. Said your mother played the whore. Now Leviticus. Your mother played the Brother Abraham, you all right, sir? 19, verse 29. Right. You need a water Do or anything? Do not prostitute okay. thy daughter. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Your mother was prostituted <laughs> to an Arab man. She played the whore. Bottom line. <laughs> to cause her to be a whore. To cause her to be a whore. Because the Most High commanded us not to mix with the other nations. So when she yeah. laid down with your father, she played the whore. That's right. Okay, you're a product of a whore. You're a, you're a whore's son. Okay, you're confused, brother. Even the Asian man tells you, it's true. Lest the land fall to whore. Lest the land fall to whore. That's what you see now. You see black people. Captain. Race mixing with white people, Hispanics mixing yeah, yeah, I'm with Chinese people. Yeah. 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 If God yeah. commands us not to do it, we can be hot if maybe we won't be that tough. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 26. Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Solomon was the wisest man on the earth, right? He sinned by the same things God just told us not to do. Solomon had wives of other nations. God said, what about Solomon? Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? 
Read. But, I mean, squeeze like the... Um, Yet, among many nations, was there no king like it? Among many nations, there was no king like the king of Israel, King Solomon. Who was beloved of his God. Beloved of the Most High God of Israel. And God made him king. Over all Israel. God made Solomon but king David, over all king Israel. Right. So what happened? Uh, nevertheless, him, him nevertheless, no, even him, him did outlandish yeah, women cause to sin. Even him, even Solomon <laughs> did outlandish of women of other nations, like you see these two right here, our own nations. Why? Yeah, now we're going to try to give all of y'all like 10, 15 minutes so we can get y'all in. So we then hunt an excuse to do all the great evil, to transgress against our God and marrying strange Now I want to teach. Why? Well, you know what's right? Yeah, I'll take the most I called the other nations. Let me see how the spirit moves, bud. We can y'all 10 minutes. Alien. Your mother married in Alien. Your mother married a stranger. A she committed wickedness. She committed whoredom. She should have married a man of the tribe of the nation of Israel. All right. Then you would have been. Like, I you believe in the Bible, brother. Children, children of Israel. My father's first you believe in the Bible. Give me. Give me a. Uh, Israel, the God of Chicago. My mom married a Nova. So you know you're Israel. Actually, come right. talk to your brothers. You got the heathens out here, bro. What are you anyway? You a man or a woman? Huh? You're a homosexual, all right. Yeah. Let's see what God says about keep God's law. Give me a little bit of wisdom. Since you want to stand here and listen, we're going to tell you what God says about it. Leviticus 2013 says we're supposed to stone you. Leviticus chapter 18. Verse 22, thou shalt not lie with mankind as, as with womankind. This, this, this person over here who calls himself a woman or a homosexual, the most I said, kill both of Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Most I said, thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. A man is not supposed to lie with another man like he lies with a woman. Read. It is abomination. It's an abomination in the eyes of the Most High. This person right here is an abomination in the eyes of the Most High. Oh, Jesus. Breeze. <laughs> Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. The same way you're not supposed to lie with a man. A man is not supposed to lie with another man. You're not supposed to lie with a beast. All right? And what do you have in it? Where are we at right now? We're at sin, sin. My dad just got called a beast. <laughs> We're going to teach to my people Israel. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. The Bible is commanding us to cry aloud. That's why you see the Israelites before you. Raising our voices. Wherever our people are, the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians, we're going to cry aloud. Make sure you hear us when we come out to these streets. Read. Spare not. Spare not. We're not going to spare your feelings. We don't care if you don't want to hear this Bible. We're going to teach it. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. The Bible is commanding us. God is commanding us to lift up our voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a very loud instrument. That's why we raise our voice very loud. Here's the real Jews. And show my people. Their transgression. We're gonna show our people the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans their transgression. Right? So if you're a so-called black Hispanic or Native Indian, this word of the God of God is for you. You can stand and listen. If you're the other nations, this Bible is not for you. You're going into captivity. Let's just see the Lord. Do it here. Let me go and then we'll walk over there. Which where we at right now? We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, right? Sin City. That's what they call this place, right? Sin City. Now let's see what God calls. Speak a little louder. Read. First John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. So God is telling you, all you people here in Sin City, whosoever transgresses the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's law. So you come out here to commit sin, boredom, fornication, Got drunk, right? um, I have, I have a camera similar to that. Lord. Now let's see what happens to those who break God's law. Those who commit sin. Stay my child to say that you incite.
we're we going to see what happens to those who break God's law. Romans! What is the payment for that? <laughs> Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. That's the right. The wages of homosexuality, which is a sin, is death. The wages of race mixing is death. Read. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, the gift our Lord. Of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ for you Israelites who repent in the faith of Christ. Because this Bible is not for everybody, like we read in Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. Okay. 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 If an Israelite man is found lying with a young woman, then they, then they shall both hey, of them die. The if a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, if a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, right? This means the woman is already married to someone. And she's lying with another man. Then they shall both of them die. Then they shall both of them die. That's why you have AIDS. That's why you have freak accidents, right? That's all judgment from the most high for adultery. Who has a question? You have a question? Who had a question? A couple of fornicators here. What's your question? Pay him no mind. What's your question? I'm just curious, but this is what this is all about? You see this sign right here? We're here for the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. If you not tell us something this sign, this Bible is not for you. That's what we're here for. Okay? If you don't look like J-Lo or Beyonce, you don't know. What's your father? What's your father? Your father's a white devil. Yeah, it's white. From where? From where? Wait, what's this? From where? Because we know how people love to say they're mixed. <coughs> Especially they're all, oh, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm, um, I'm Portuguese. I'm European. I, I got a little bit of Italian. Where is your pops from? Oh. <laughs> Nationality. Is he, is he really a so-called white man? Who's Mexican? You said you're Mexican. Who's Mexican? Your mom. Your mother or your father? So your father's really European? The, the mom is no good. I'm uh, Jenny from the block. Yeah, don't, don't, don't listen to me. They find this funny. They find this a joke. Where, where's your pops? I don't know. Really, what they should All right. Like I was saying. She don't want to explain to her the rules. I'm over the whole Right. Yeah, the other one says she gay. Right? Find out where her father from. We're here for the 12 tribes of Israel. You do not see yourself on the sign. This Bible is not right there. God is only for these people. Christ only died for these people. Why? Give me that Matthew 15. Why? I don't get why he only died for you. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. That's what we say is what the Bible says. He's going to tell you right now where the Bible says. Tell you right nice <laughs> the Bible says don't get drunk either. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. This is what Christ said. Alright, this is not our words. This is what Christ said. But he answered and said. But Christ answered and said. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ is only sent to the lost sheep. Of the house of Israel. That's, That's right. right. You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. If you do not see yourself on this side, tough luck. Too bad. All right, take it up with God. Now let's go. Like I was saying, we're in Sin City. God said the wages of sin is death. All right, you guys like to come to Las Vegas, Galatica, and commit all kinds of sin. Well, this is a sin that God finds evil. Deuteronomy goes on in Las Vegas. Chapter 22, verse 22. If a man be found lying with a woman married to a husband, if a man be found lying with a woman that's already married to another man, what's gonna happen? 
Then they shall both of them die. Then they shall both of them die. So man, how do you think they die? Yes. How do you think they die? How do they make money then? How, they just die? You think they just poof, they die? No. no. No, it's judgment from the, the most high. Nobody will help us. Nobody will help us. Maybe you take a bad person. I got to eat You guys got to understand that there is a God and there's judgment from the most high. You will not go unpunished for your sins. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32. But whoso committed adultery, but whoso committed adultery, read. with a woman, with a woman, read. lacketh understanding. Lacks understanding. If you commit adultery with a woman, you lack understanding. Why? Because you lack your understanding of this Bible. That's a sin itself. Brother, isn't there something in your Bible about judgment? I'm lumping in Salvadorian, so you're true. You're from the tribe of Asher. You're alive. I'm on this. So this Bible is for you, bro. Listen, listen to this very carefully. What do you call yourself? What's your nationality? What is your father's nationality? He's Colombian, right? Colombia was named after Columbus, right? So that's not your true nationality. Your true nationality is the nation of Israel, all right? Now we're gonna get, we're gonna show you how you how you got that name. All right, because these so-called white people who are the Edomites, according to the Bible, when they go around and conquer lands, they like to name it after themselves. So Columbia was named after Columbus. All right, just like Washington, D.C. was named after George Washington. Columbus, Ohio was named after Columbus. Psalm chapter 49, verse 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. These Edomites, these heathen, think that their houses shall abide forever. They think that America is going to last forever. forever. And no. their dwelling places to all generations. They think that their dwelling places, wherever they set up these houses, these hotels, wherever they, they set up shops, they think it's going to last from generations to generations. They call their lands after their own name. They call their lands after their own name. Their own name. They called Colombia after Columbus. They called America after America. They called Africa after Leo Scipio Africa. So when I asked you your nationality, you told me Colombia. You called yourself. What are you trying to say? You're saying, you're telling me that you come from Columbus. You don't come from Columbus. You come from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Just from the tribe of Zephyr. That's right. Right, brother? Two right. more white devils to go there. Before you, before you, before Columbus, Columbus, your people, Columbia, they were called Ash. I'm a nation of Ash. I'm a nation of Ash. I'm a nation of Ash. Alright. It's alright, man. It's tough if you gotta build yourself up to it, man. Yeah, man. Sure. You'll be hurting them all. Do the Captain Shim yell at you for a week, you'll be fine. Do the word of me, chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. But they're in the middle. They act foolish. They act foolish. You don't even know who they are. They look at us as a proverb. A proverb and a byword. A proverb and a byword. A proverb is what? Puerto Rican's got to die. African Americans are lazy. Puerto Rican women have a lot of children. That's a problem, right? A Bible is anything out of your God given name. Right? Being called Colombian is a Bible. Being called African American is a Bible. Being called nigga is a Bible. Okay? Being called spit is a Bible. Read. Among all nations. Among all the nations. Why? Because if I ask him what's his nationality, he's gonna tell you what? Hispanic, meaning of Spain. He's not going to tell you he's an Israelite. Right? He's not going to tell you that. The, 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 the slave master is not going to tell you who you are because he wants to keep you in captivity. Because the moment you're in captivity, the moment he's in
what happens to our people. This is what happens to them. This is why you don't know who you are. That's prophecy right there. But what he's reading, about by word, proverb, that's what they're doing right now. They, they, we're, we're mockery to them. We're an astonishment. You're a child of Israel. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, you do not take heed to this Bible, what's going to happen? To observe. To do all his commandments. To observe, to do all his commandments, all God's commandments. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. Which he commanded that day. Moses brought it out right to this day now. That all these curses. All these curses. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now I'll just read Deuteronomy 28 verse 37. Right? That's a curse that fell upon you. And it's evident because when I asked you who you were, you said Columbia. Well, that curse fits you, brother. You understand it now? All right, now we're going to go into more curses. So what's the purpose of this being out? Deuteronomy. The purpose is to wake our people up to their true nationality. That's right. right. That's right. This brother right here, he didn't know who he was, but now he does. So now he has an obligation. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When Columbus came over to Columbus, right? And when the conquistadors went over to Columbus, didn't they take the natives, the native Indians that were there, and they enslaved them? Didn't they take them to Spain? Didn't they take them to Portugal? Didn't they take them to Italy? Right? As slaves? And, and thy eyes shall look and right. fail with longing for them. Our eyes shall look and fail with longing for our children. For what? All the day long. All the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. There shall be no might in our hand. There shall be no power for us to get our children back from slavery, from captivity. This is regeneration. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. The fruit of thy land, right? What happens to all the fruit of, of Colombia? Doesn't it get exported to other countries? Don't um, big, big, big corporations go over there and they set up shops? They take everything, right? They leave nothing for the natives, right? That's a curse that fell on our people. That's a curse, brother. Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. Meaning wherever the Israelites dwell, whether it be in America, whether it be in Colombia, whether it be in the Caribbean, yeah, right you shall be oppressed yeah, and crushed she, she always. About, uh, right? Do we own these actually, hotels? Who owns these hotels? Say it, brother. Don't be scared. Yeah. What? The white corporate America, right? Or the Arabs, the Japanese. Right. Every other nation comes over here and accepts such shots. Right. Well, who owned this land before they came here? Yeah. Who made the people, right? What happened to them? They were destroyed and conquered. Why? Because they were Israelites who broke God's laws. Read. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy eyes. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy eyes. That's why you see us here with all places, babe. Because we still see our people in captivity. All right? Yes. All places go. Indians worship idols. The Indians bury the gods. So we're going to continue to see our people. Yeah, when he gets up, I'm copying and put it on. I got everything, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, why are you standing here? You a homosexual? You like staring at men's faces? So why are you here? This Bible is obviously not for you. We told you that. So why are you still here? Because there needs to be an Bring your mother over here. She's an Israelite. You're not an Israelite. Keep it moving. Kick up. The garbage is saying, I have it all this Bible is for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. This Bible is not for the Arabs. That's right. In 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. We're going back. He's a homosexual, bro. He's like looking at men's faces. He's got the guilt. We're over here in Sin City, right? That's what they call Las Vegas, Nevada. Sin City. This guy? Let's see what God says. He looks funny. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Know ye not, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Don't you know that the unrighteous 
those who break God's law, those who commit sin, anywhere, right? Where we are, sin, sin. That's what they like to call this place. You come here to sin. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Don't be tricked by the so-called old man who sets up shop and who spends the money on the Sabbath. But today is the Sabbath. We're not supposed to be buying the Sabbath and the most high day. What are our people out here doing? Men who have been deceived to commit sin by your own blessing. The so-called white man. Well, right? The so-called white man. Right? Neither fornicators? Neither fornicators. What do our people do? These are the weird two. They say, we're gonna have sex before I get married, I'm gonna have sex. Right? They come over here and fornicate. They come to the Vegas to fornicate. What does the Bible say? Neither fornicators! Neither fornicators! Don't be deceived. Don't be a fornicator. Don't be tricked into being a fornicator. No idolaters! No idolaters! Uh, this guy's back. worship images that are not found in the Bible. Most I told us, Exodus 20, right? Do not worship the images. But what do you have in the church? You have a white Jesus. But Jesus is not white according to the Bible. I said, Jesus, man, they were doing this. Alright? You don't see this in the church. Why? Because they want to keep it. They want you to worship the white face. So they put up an image of the white face. No adulterers! No adulterers! The most the most high is telling us not to be adulterers. There ain't nothing like you. Two Jews! Give me Jim Jeremiah 14 and 2. Let's see if they are Jews. Let's see if they are Jews according to the Bible. Let's see. Let the Bible be true. I'm Romans 3 and 3. Romans 3 and 3. A little bit Jewish. Yeah, you're itch. There ain't nothing like you. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? For what if some did not believe? Read. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Shall his unbelief make the faith of us, the Israelites, of none effect? Shall his unbelief make the faith of God of none effect to us? Read. God forbid. God forbid, meaning no. His opinion means nothing. Read. Yes. Let God be true. Let God be true. But every man a liar. But every man a liar. All right, so if it's not found in the Bible, it is a lie. Because he said he's a Jew. He said he's a Jew. He said he's a Jew. Let's see if they are true. Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning. Judah mourning. Why does Judah mourn? Because we were in captivity. Read. And the gates thereof language. The gates thereof language. The, the, the government. There's no, there's no officer set up. There's no government. There's no power in Judah. They are blind unto the ground. Judah is blind. Judah is blind. Judah is blind. Judah is blind. They are blind unto the ground. Judah is black unto the ground. When you pick up dirt from the ground, what color is it? I didn't pay him no mind because if I would have entertained it, I knew it's highly dark. You know what? You know what? Judah, read. Judah, warn it. And the gates are all right. Let's get this very clear. Jew is short for Judah. They don't even call themselves Jew. They call themselves Jewish. Jewish meaning why do they call themselves Jewish? Because they follow Jew customs. They are not true Jews. are the true Jews. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are the true Jews. That's right. They are Black. They are Black unto the ground. Read. Unto the ground. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Why is the cry of Jerusalem gone up? Because for over 400 years, we have been in captivity, oppressed by our oppressors. And we all know who they are. Because who brought us here for slave ships? The so-called white man. Right? That's why we are here. Jeremiah, chapter 14, to the morning. Answer that question. And the gates that are You answer this. You answer it. Oh, I don't agree. I don't agree. Let's get it. 
You're not supposed to agree. I'm saying this right. Sisters, this Bible is for you. Right? You see yourself on the side. This Bible is for you. 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 This Bible is They love to try to go there. Try to be like, you sold yourself. This is how we know where the children of Israel according to the Bible. Because only the Torah of the people. I need Yahudi. I need Yahudi. I need Yahudi. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. And the Lord shall bring thee. The Lord shall bring Israel into Egypt. Again. Again. How many times did the children of Israel go into Egypt? Did that good, Sometimes you got to deal with it, sometimes you got to do it, especially when you got somebody in the captive there. That's more fun. That's I'm going to show you Isaiah, right? He wants proof. 
that he did. Who did he put in slavery? Let's see what the Most High said. Because Romans 3 said, let God be true and every man a liar. So the Most High said, he that lead him into captivity shall go into captivity. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for Prepare his slaughter, children. Meaning get ready for slaughter, for death. Read. For his children. For his children. Your ancestors, right? Your ancestors are so-called white men. The same people that had us in slavery, that put us in captivity. Prepare slaughter. What does God say? Read. For his children. You. You're his children, right? So you have to prepare for slaughter. Read. For the iniquity. For the sin. Of read. their fathers. For the sin of your fathers. That they do not rise. That you do not rise. Nor possess the land. Nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world nor with cities. Nor fill the face of the earth with cities. Meaning you're not gonna, you're gonna be off the face of the earth for the wickedness that you committed to our people. The atrocities that you committed against our people. That's, right. That's why you see blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians in ghetto, right? We're in the slums. Why? Because we've been, we've been put in slavery. But it's not his fault. The most I got another one. I got another one. I got another one. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 14. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And that? God doeth it, that men should fear before him. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And God requireth that which is past. That means the Most High already ordained that thing to happen. It's going to happen, regardless of what the he thinks, that man thinks, prepare slaughter for the iniquity of your fathers, right? To the children. They can't hear this, that's why they gotta run. Yeah, the so-called yeah, white good. man is that's going to change. Now we're gonna show going to change. change. That's you gotta fly this? Shit. Okay, he's on the fly. Hey, other David! David! Yeah. It's a car. Give the other sister a flyer, the one in pink. No, they all, she said the other one got it. The one in pink. It's a car. It's a car. Give one to her too. Now we're gonna show you, man. Uh, it was up the most not the, not the one in pink. Go the other one. Chapter 28. Yes, we are. You are there if you like too. Don't go in here, right? That's something else. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. And thou wilt not hearken. This is Moses talking to the children of Israel, right? Tell him, tell him, tell him. That's what we call ourselves. Seth, bring out some laws. If thou wilt not hearken. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You don't listen to the, to the voice of the Lord thy God. What do you find? Where do you find it? Where you find it? No, it's a Bible. Exactly. This is the voice of the Most High. To observe, to do all his commandments. So you have to observe, to do all his commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. So you, knowing that you're an Israelite, you have an obligation to keep these laws. So now we're going to show you a law that you have to be teaching. That you have to be teaching this for granted, right? Yeah, no. So I want to give him a few so more. Okay. Okay. You want me to monopolize that? Okay. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Because we as Israelites have to keep these laws. That's, that's our only power, right? Deuteronomy yeah, chapter 22, verse 15. Verse 15. Verse 15. The woman shall not hurt hey, hey, hey. that which pertaineth unto a man. I can't believe what's going on. My lips are good. I can't believe what's going on. My lips are good. And I've studied that. 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 I've studied that.
So if you want to say the sure word, Jesus is the same thing. Yes, it is. Sis, listen to this Lord. Don't, don't, don't listen to this Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Israelite woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what pertains to a man that you're wearing? Almost, almost. Most I tell you. Neither. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So you said men didn't wear pants. We wore garments like you see us today. You mean that? Prove it. Prove it. Exodus. Exodus 20. I'm going to prove to you that we can't wear <laughs> the Bible said that God be true with every man in life. You say men didn't win. Exodus chapter 28, verse 42. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Right? To cover their nakedness. What a breach. Woo! And Jesus said, Turn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Not true. No, 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 it's not true. It's not true. What? Right. Which our people broke in many times. Wait, wait. I'm going to say something. Prior to this brother bringing out the laws of God, that our people have spoken to our and as a result, we went into what? Slavery. That's how our people are destroyed today, so-called blacks and Spanish, right? Because we broke God's law. Destroyed for lack of knowledge. And the knowledge of God is God's law. The, 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 the knowledge, stop interrupting me. The knowledge is God's law. According to Malachi 2, verse 7. Even God. We know that. We know God is a type. It's like we try to go into some mad dogs. It's mad dogs, bro. Yeah. I'm going to... I'm gonna have your bond go up. It's getting late. I wanna get some of the other boys. Where did you learn that King James was a homosexual? I studied him. From so, what was the name of the man that put out a rumor who said that he was a, a, a homosexual? His lineage is of the Britons. He's in the same lineage as Prince William. Prince, he's one of the heirs to the throne. Are you, saying that, are you saying that King James is a so-called white man? Yes, he is. You have not done this? Yes, he was here. No. King James was the last king of Scotland that united Scotland and Ireland together and became the king of England. His son was King Charles. His son was called Swarthy, meaning dark and handsome. King James was the last king of Scots. When you read the book, last king of the kings of the Jews of Scotland, there's a book called um, Nature Knows No Color Line. Listen, 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 listen. I have Babylon and Timbuktu. And in parts of that, in parts of Rudolf R. Windsor's writing, he went off. That's why he came out with Judea Trembles Under Rome, where he had to correct from Babylon to Timbuktu. You're not speaking with just regular men up here. No way! James was a black man. That's right! That's right! From Scotland, 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 that's and the devil, let him do his job. I bind you in the name of Yeshua the Holy Spirit. Listen. Now sister. you step off. Listen, sister, don't My go. My granddaughter sister, is listen. right here. Sister, don't get caught up in that. They ain't gonna do nothing. Listen to this. Listen, listen. 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 I am in 193 AD, we took over here. Rome fell. I By a man of supreme. By a man of supreme. Man of supreme. Years after. The Holy Testament. 30 years after, after Jesus.
Ask the whole job. Test it. If King James authorized, listen, sis. If King James authorized the translation. But even the word Bible comes from the Biblical. But in Biblios, they had obelisks, they had phallus, they were dominated by the by the Egyptians. Why did you test it? It's a city here in Africa. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. For with stammering lips, the Bible is BS to you. It's BS to you. It's BS to this it. It's BS to you, and it's BS to you. You are not of the nation of Israel. So you can say the Bible's BS. The Bible is only for the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. I'm Puerto Rican. For with stammering lips, and another time will he speak to his people. So God moved the spirit of the Jesus to authorize the translation. Because if this was in Hebrew, would you be able to understand it? I would not know Shabbat Shabbat. What does that mean? Exactly. You would not be able to understand Hebrew. So God moved the spirit of this man to hire these scholars to translate it into English. Because guess what? What happened in 1611? What happened in 1619? In 1611, they called our Savior Iesus. What happened in 1619? That was his name. What happened in 1619? What? In 1619? Yes. The transatlantic slave So when we got off the boats, when our slave masters forced English upon us and we learned English, we would be able to hold this book up read it and see ourselves in the book, that we are the true children of God. If this book was in Greek, in the Septuagint, in the Hebrew, I, I would not be able to understand it. There were no parts Okay? So King James was not the so-called homosexual. That is the lie. He was so-called white man. Look up the man. a little bit of destruction. They still trying to maintain it. Okay? Come on. Come on. Let's not get simple. Shalom, brothers, and shalom, sisters. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. As many of you are finding out, Christianity has destroyed our people. For the past 400 years, we have been indoctrinated in lies. Those lies of Christianity have not benefited our people in the least bit. Many of you know this. So, like Christ said in John chapter 3, verse 3, he said, Except ye be born again, you shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. So in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven which shall be established on earth, you must be born again. What does that mean? Many of you always quote that, but you don't understand what that means. When you go to 2 Ezra, chapter 14, verse 34, Ezra said, Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding, meaning subdue all that you have learned here in Babylon the Great, it says, and reform your hearts, ye shall be kept alive. What does that mean? Meaning you must be taught all over again, taught your nationality, taught why it is that we as a people went into slavery here in America. Who are we? What is the mystery of why this country, these nations have changed our nationality? We here at Israel United in Christ, we have classes seven days a week, three times a day, all for what? For your learning, for your edification. You will learn things never taught to you before. You will learn history, you will learn prophecy, and more importantly, you will learn the dynamics of what you need today to survive as a people. One third of Israel is prophesied to repent of their sins and come into this truth. So now we need you, brothers and sisters, come join us here at IsraelUnite.org. Go to our online classes and register. This is for you. This is for the redemption of the 12 tribes of Israel, brothers and sisters. I hope you understand that. Isaiah chapter 62, verse 6 says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. And brothers and sisters, we are not keeping silence. So come join us. Help, help us build this truth. Donate to us so that we can keep this truth on and on. Push it forward. Help us get this gospel out. Because Christ said, when this gospel is taught throughout the earth, then shall the end come. 
So with that, brothers and sisters, we say shalom.